Hi guys, welcome back again to our channel. Hello, welcome to our channel. <laughs> For today's vlog is we're gonna tell you the second part of how to marry your Indian boyfriend in, in Dubai Indian Consulate. So my husband will uh, explain to you uh, what are the requirements how is the process uh, for Indian citizen okay so guys today we are going to talk about uh, our uh, topic which is uh, regarding uh, the requirements uh, which we need to provide uh, for an Indian husband or Indian uh, person who is going to uh, marry uh, a Filipino or different nationality uh, hopefully the process is uh, same for all all of them mm -hmm. like all of Indians uh, all of the Indians they have to follow the same uh, uh, doc documents and all so I will tell you all the uh, requirements one by one uh, first one is uh, uh, you need to get your singleness certificate which is uh, uh, like you can get it from the uh, one of the private institute like agency they are uh, like helping to provide you that so uh, you don't need to go to the consulate for that uh, you can go directly to IVS global which is uh, in uh, 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 what you call what that place IVS global yeah IVS IVS global and it's uh, situated in uh, the old meta. old meta from Virgin Man to Old Meta. So uh, then you need to walk. If you are staying in Dubai, you know uh, Burjman where, where it is, mm -hmm. and uh, from Burjman, uh, like you can take a train. It's better to take a train, uh, like easy to travel. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, take a green line and go to Old Meta. From there, you can ask. Uh, like <coughs> once you get down from uh, Old Meta, you can ask uh, any of the person about IVS Global. It's quite uh, famous over there, so uh, you will, find, you will find it, yes. So once you reach IVS Global, they will ask for some of the documents from you, which are like passport copy and... Uh, photocopy, uh, always bring your fo passport photocopy with you. Yeah, just try to take all the documents, <laughs> documents. like your passport size photo and your passport copy yeah. and... Uh, uh, photographs also. Photographs, uh, uh, and also they will require... Uh, uh, like uh, no objection uh, later from your parents mm. so before going to IVS you need to prepare this so no objection uh, to solemnize your marriage uh, in from Dubai. your parents yeah, yeah. like uh, no objection for uh, like getting married to uh, a Filipino or, or other, other nationality so it should be uh, mentioned there properly so um, before making this uh, no objection later, I will suggest you to go to the consulate and they will give you a format. Uh, in that, <coughs> according to that format, you have to make uh, the uh, uh, a letter uh, which which should be uh, notarized from one of the like um, court or one of the uh, legal uh, authority in 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 India where you stay so you can notarize easily like it's not a big deal you can go there and they will help you to make it just uh, 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 like the you have to follow the format what they will provide so once you get that uh, just get a copy of it uh, at first so to, to get the singleness certificate uh, you just need a copy of uh, uh, like your um, father and mother's uh, no objection uh, later which is which should be notarized so copy will work for that and your passport uh, copy and your partner's passport copy will be required for singleness certificate uh, if you want to know more about uh, the singleness certificate you can go to the website of uh, IVS global which you can easily search in Google and you can get the information whatever what other documents you need so the singleness certificate uh, you have to pay some some dirhams not much like i think like uh, one, 150 dirhams or maybe less than that like that so uh, how so much 150 huh. yeah so, so because when we went 
uh, when he processed his documents, I was not there because I was working. So, <laughs> we can do all the things, uh, you know, in separate ways. So, uh, actually they needed for the, like, uh, the, gun, like, uh, the service fees and uh, for the, like, courier, do, doing the courier to you. So, the singleness certificate will be delivered to you, uh, to your address. So, it's very easy, nothing to do. You just submit your documents to them and they will deliver to you. So, it's better <coughs> just go in the early hours because mm -hmm. uh, in IBS, yeah. IBS Global, it's like uh, busy. very busy. You can Always think. go in the morning. Sometimes it's uh, good, like uh, in the early morning, there will be no much uh, rush. But uh, if you go late, so maybe they will not accept also uh, mm -hmm. your uh, application, application for, for making something like from them. So it's better to go early, uh, like 10 o'clock will be fine for you to reach there. So the work will be done or go earlier mm -hmm. if you can. So uh, once you get your uh, singleness certificate, uh, you need to make sure that you have uh, passport size photos, which are like two passport size photos for the bride and two passport size photos for the bridegroom. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> uh, you need to uh, get three, three, witnesses. three witnesses, which are uh, residents of, uh, of uh, UAE and uh, uh, they have a valid visa because they will require the valid visa because they will see the visa copy as well and the passport <laughs> copy of the witness mm -hmm. and uh, just uh, make, sure get, make sure that they, they can, can attend they can attend uh, your wedding and uh, also they will require their original passports yeah. to verify mm. so before like getting into the date for the marriage you, you need, need to, to provide them yeah you need to provide yeah, the the consulate people they will provide you uh, like they will tell you when to yeah. bring the original passports so just uh, be prepared because uh, the passport is not easy like uh, to get it uh, for especially the, uh, if you're working yeah, especially if you're working your passport is with the uh, owner so you have to and like tell them to bring it on on sorry. this on this date come on <laughs> sorry <laughs> you are eating you are burping <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> okay just make sure guys that they can attend your wedding and they have their passport with them okay just make sure uh these notes because it's very important they will not allow you if you only have two witnesses or even if you give valid reasons if they're sick or whatsoever they will not allow. Just make so, sure. Uh, there should be uh, three witnesses, which <laughs> yeah. you can make sure, like they will come uh, on the last day and they will provide their documents. Only those uh, witnesses you should consider. <laughs> yeah. So uh, we got uh, sing, uh, we got the no objection certificate, uh, like later from the parents. Second is uh, the singleness certificate. Uh, third is your documents like your passport size photos. And fourth is your uh, the witnesses. You have to uh, get uh, three valid witnesses which can be presented with their passport and visa copy. And passport should be presented, original passport should be presented to them. And uh, uh, the consulate, maybe they will ask uh, the original copy of the no objection uh, certificate from you. So uh, once once you like made it from India, it's better to uh, get it from from the India but through uh, courier or, or anything which which is uh, easier for you. If your parents are coming to visit. Uh, like uh, if they're visiting for the, your marriage so they can uh, bring it with them so yeah. <laughs> so uh, this will be easier also so uh, uh, 
the fifth requirement which you need is uh, legal is a uh, uh, legal capacity the certificate which is not for you which is same as like singleness single singleness certificate legal which, capacity of your partner filipina yeah filipina oh. girlfriend yeah yeah filipino uh, yeah or other uh, nationality like so. what i discussed in my previous uh, vlog uh, how to get your legal capacity certificate after getting your legal capacity certificate uh, you need to give it to your uh, or you need to uh, submit it to indian consulate as a requirement because they need it and it must be uh, tested uh, to mofa, MOFA. Uh, ministry of foreign, foreign affairs, affairs. Uh, in dubai in dubai, it's dubai government the, uh, if you don't know about the consulate guys i will tell you it's in burjman and it's very near to access mm -hmm. so just you go to burjman in dubai and uh, uh, from there you can you can go uh, <laughs> come sorry. on sorry <laughs> okay so uh, from there you can just go uh, walk a little <laughs> like 5 minutes walk yeah you can ask anyone ask. once you get down uh, to the Burjman station, uh, you can ask the security or the, the policemen who are standing there. They will they guide know. you properly. It's very so, clear. So uh, once you get uh, get uh, out from the metro, you can reach it by by walk like five. Like it will minutes. it will take five minutes to reach there. And uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs is also very near to the. Uh, Indian, consulate. Indian consulate, which is like very accessible, guys. Yeah, Indians are so lucky. Yeah, so it's two minutes walk <laughs> from the um, consulate. You can see uh, like uh, straight away. The, it's in front. You can say the the, uh, con the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Why you need to uh, go to Ministry of For Foreign Affairs is uh, first you have to once you get the legal capacity. Uh, certificate from from uh, my your, like filipino your, your filipino girlfriend's embassy you have to get attested mm -hmm. you have to get attested come on mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. she cannot wait she cannot wait eating okay you know? <laughs> okay okay, okay. <laughs> it's okay <laughs> okay so uh so you have to get attested the 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 like they will put a stamp like they will check if uh, your uh, document is original. So guys, don't uh, take a Xerox copy or colored copy of uh, the legal capacity certificate. It should be original. So it should be original. They will check it through the machine and they will mm. uh, like they will charge some amount. It's not much. Maybe hundred, right? Yeah, hundred eighty. Hundred eighty. Huh. Okay, just take it two hundred dirham. As far as I know, as far as I remember. We actually don't remember, yeah, remember, don't remember the not, amount, not sure. but uh, it's so between not, 200 dirhams, so yeah. just take 200 dirhams. With 100 you. to 200, I think. Yeah, so. Uh, just prepare 200 dirhams, just yeah. to make sure. Take card with you, because card, uh, if you're paying with card, they will much not cheaper. charge much. Uh, yeah. Like uh, if you the are taxes. paying by uh, yeah, if you are paying by cash, they will charge some taxes, so it mm -hmm. will be more. Mm -hmm. So take your At card. At least thirty, you. thirty. They're taking thirty. Yeah, thirty dirhams more, I think. So just take, go there and tell them that I have my legal <laughs> capacity certificate with me. I want to get attested. They will take. They will just call you. You have to take a token, and you will get your stamp behind or in front so super that, easy guys yeah so that's <laughs> necessary because uh, uh, the indian consulate uh, like they will they will uh, not accept without that stamp hmm. so because uh, the information is going to them like the ministry of foreign affairs about uh, what we are going to do and uh, what we are intended to do so government uh, should know that <laughs> so that's that's also a reason <laughs> So, uh, friends, uh, we have informed you about uh, singleness and legal capacity. So, we she, she have informed you what is that actually in, in the previous, previous video. Mm -hmm. 
but i will tell you in a short uh, like a short term i will just tell you that singleness certificate is a proof that you are not married to any other uh, any other person yeah. and you are single until uh, the date you, uh, like until now you are single so and you are eligible to get married to her for uh, a person people like um, who have uh, uh, like married before got married before and want to get married again there uh, will be a different process for them so it's better uh, to go to the consulate indian consulate and to you can proper. yeah properly you can check with them you can ask them you can give them like full information yeah. like it's very easy like it's very near to so there's no hassle in going there so also you don't need to take any appointment for the indian consulate just go there directly the timing is from 8 o'clock in the morning till 12, uh, 12 o'clock so make sure you should be there before that otherwise they will not accept you okay so uh, once you reach uh, to the indian consulate they uh, they will tell you about all the things which is, which is required but uh, we are also telling you so you will be prepared yeah. if you are not able to visit the consulate in advance or uh, at least you have an idea yeah, of you will have an what idea that what you need to do it in in prior to going to that mm-hmm. like you don't what need to go things? again and again for that because we guys we don't have knowledge when yeah. we when we did just so there. i had gone like lot of times like yeah six seven times yeah and we're both working it's not easy yeah we were both working and we didn't it's know not, about the things which we required it's not easy and so. guys once uh, i will uh, give you a suggestion that once you go into the indian consulate please ask everything each and everything properly give your uh, like full information and take full information from them so about, you will go there only yeah. once if they will give you tell you that bring this bring that ask them how to and from where to yeah. and what's the format of making this otherwise they will tell you to make it again yeah so it's better to ask all the things everything properly and at once <laughs> yeah and they will not sometimes they will not give you a receipt even for your payment so th- it's better you, you ask the person their name before leaving from uh, the the consulate just ask the person your name and kindly so they will give the name so at least you have a reference that whom you have talked with and mm-hmm. spoken with so this is also one of the point mm-hmm. so after all these things after uh, submitting all your uh, requirements once you already gathered all the requirements that you need uh they you need to submit it to uh, indian consulate and then the newspaper advertisement you need to do this both of your both of the nationality filipino and indian you need to advertise your uh, uh the newspaper so this is local newspaper in your own country that you have to actually do after after, after submitting submitting all these documents, uh, documents. and um <coughs> like if you have not get got uh, married in in one of the like church or uh, or like one of the temple where uh, whichever faith you are if you have not uh, uh, like got married in there so then only you have to do so the n- newspaper do the advertisement. newspaper advertisement so uh, for that uh actually we did marriage in in uh, gurudwara in dubai Their so temple. yeah so for that uh, there is a different format yeah. they will also require uh, like all the documents which you are providing to the consulate okay. same documents they will require once you get married so uh, but we didn't do the newspaper yeah so you can use the same uh, things like they will give you the format for the the thing but mm-hmm. which we faced we have made uh, two letter of uh, uh, like uh, no objection uh, of solemnizing the all marriage. the requirements except the newspaper yeah. advertisement because the consulate that. had uh, given us the different format mm-hmm. 
true. for the solemnizing the marriage like uh, our parents uh, like giving permission <coughs> but uh, the gurudwara they have given their own format so mm. we have to follow that so that as well and they also required original uh, documents mm-hmm. for that so the guys if you are prepared it will not take much time really three so months if you are doing uh, work but, yeah, yeah if you are working on it so it will not take time like if you know all what what you have to get and from where it, you have to get and if you really want it so it it will be finished in within two two months two months, two months if like, they but can yeah if, if you have all the knowledge and all the, the time requirements all the time for this But, but if not it will take 3 or 4 or maybe more yeah 3 4 months we have taken like 3 uh, mm-hmm. to 4 months for this mm-hmm. because but, uh, yeah. getting my legal capacity certificate it's already you know it's uh, it it took my time like one month i think because i need to get my uh, singleness form shenomar from the philippines and then i needed to wait for days and then again legal capacity certificate when i applied that i waited for 15 days yeah. so it will take time and also for the newspaper advertisement it, it will, will take, take time. more time yeah so 15 days reduce, or more yeah to reduce the time we have decided to go to uh, <laughs> gurudwara gurudwara and get married because uh, it's much more easier also we, for us uh, we have uh, like uh, you know we wanted to get married in gurudwara or yeah, church before to solemnize yeah. their church yeah so as per my parents also yeah, they wanted they want me to get married in gurudwara so we see, decided to, yeah. to so just you, get married it's and upon then you guys so, formalize yeah it's upon you consulate. you guys that uh, you people <laughs> can decide in between mm-hmm. like uh, where you want to get married so mm-hmm. for gurudwara is like almost the same uh, documents we were required for uh, getting married so it was like nearly easy like more more easy like to Easier. get married in gurudwara than church or other uh, because it will take time guys especially in uh, roman catholic it will take you need to inform them three months prior to your wedding date so yeah so it will take time so for us we we find uh, getting married in uh, gurudwara first easier and then after that we formalize legalize our uh, marriage in indian consulate we still <laughs> we got married still in indian consulate so. Yeah, so but we didn't provide the newspaper advertisement as a requirement even they have to get married again in the indian consulate <laughs> because they will take your certificate from uh, gurdwara or uh, from the church uh, which you have attended but this is not enough for them uh they will require your uh three witnesses and all the yeah, documents same. yeah all the documents uh, and uh, they will do, uh, give you a date after that once you will provide them all the documents and uh, once they are satisfied that that uh, everything is like uh, done and we are ready to g- uh, get the certificate then only they will give the date, date and guys if you are in hurry please tell them please tell them that uh, you want it early mm-hmm. so they will help you mm-hmm. everywhere like uh, in philippine uh, like embassy consulate. or consulate or or indian <coughs> consulate they are very cooperative just yeah. inform them but you need to make sure that you get all the information correctly from them mm-hmm. so otherwise they will ask will be, you to bring this bring that again and again yeah so you you should not get in hassle or something like yeah because it's yeah. not easy especially if you are busy yeah and both working so that's it guys so what you need to do is go to your uh, go to indian consulate it's near it's in burjo mines so it's very near no no hassle in that it will take after uh after uh, reaching Burjaman metro station you just need to walk for 5 minutes yeah. and then Even you can go to the official website of uh, the indian consulate mm-hmm. they will give you the information which are required but don't get scared from that 
because maybe sometimes they are providing a lot of information. Yeah, but and it's easier to go directly. Yeah, so, so you go there, ask. go there and uh, ask them uh, mm -hmm. about uh, like your nationality and others' nationality. <laughs> Even Indians like, who are like uh, both Indians and both uh, like Filipino, yeah, they can go to their uh, consulate and they can ask for their marriage. From 8 to 12 guys, don't forget. And then they will give you all the copies, all the forms that you need to fill out. Yeah. Then you can ask them. Uh, and then also the requirements, they will give you the requirements that you need. You need to ask them properly what and uh, what are the requirements that you need to provide. And uh, that's it. And that's guys, over. also uh, one more thing. Uh, if you can't provide something, like unfortunately you had like uh, like uh, Pamela she don't have uh, like his father uh, with them so uh -huh. you please, can inform them please inform them for any problem like related to the relationship they will give you advice uh -huh. and they will give you they will they'll different make a, options make a way for you uh -huh. so just uh, prepare for the documents like which we yeah uh, we have told you mm -hmm. like uh, the legal capacity certificate uh, from from your partner uh, Filipino partner and uh, like singleness certificate which is you will get it from the IVS global uh, for legal capacity uh, certificate how to get it we will just uh, uh, put a link in our video <laughs> down the description, there uh, with the description video. and so you can access that so for all the Filipino uh, ladies or uh, guys please uh, see that video and you will be like uh, e it will be easier for you to we'll be informed yeah for for getting it okay, okay so, so uh, that's it guys we just uh, will give you the summary of the requirements so first is you need to go to the Indian uh, Dubai consulate which is in uh, Burjaman and then get all the forms that you need to fill out after that, you need to uh, prepare for your singleness. First thing is no objection from your parents. If they're in India, you need to ask them ahead of time. Okay, and then prepare for your singleness, which you can uh, get uh, from IVS Global, which is in uh, On Meta. You just need to walk like uh, five five minutes from on Meta, and then after that, legal capacity certificate Filipino. from your partner, Filipino partner, Filipino. needs must be attested. Okay, um, you need to go to Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Okay, and then after that, you need to get three witnesses together with their passport photocopy and visa photocopy, and please take note that. Uh, if you uh, get uh, three witnesses, they need to attend your wedding. It's very important. Okay, and then after that, prepare for your passport, uh, passport size, recent photographs. Okay, and that's it. After getting all these requirements, you need to do the newspaper advertisement if you are planning to get married in Indian consulate only but if you're planning to get married in church or in the temple of your partner then no need to do that but a newspaper after uh, uh, doing all uh, submitting all your requirements you need to do this and it will take time mm -hmm. so at least uh, a lot three months to pre to process all the things for getting married uh, for okay. newspaper uh, <coughs> they will give you uh, the format what to do and where from like mm -hmm. uh, what is the format how to do and all they will give you a format once you get all the requirements. Uh, other uh, requirements done mm -hmm. and uh, after submitting yeah so uh, at last uh, of this video we, I will just let you know once you get all, all the things done they will give you a date and we got our uh, certificate of marriage the on, on the same day. <laughs> on the same day, they will just nice. take a sign. Mm -hmm. They will take a sign from the witness and from yeah. everyone. Yeah. So they will. Take so a five sign. of you guys, you and your partner, and then the three witnesses should be there. Yeah. And get you can get the pictures uh, all together. Yeah. 
for a memory. And yeah, as I didn't a, get <laughs> yeah, as a evidence for because for a marriage. It's better to get that because yeah. we didn't get it. So, yeah. Yeah. That's so. a big. mistake of us yeah so maybe you will require in future to yeah. so that you you were in the consulate and you yeah. you got this certificate with all the witnesses so please don't forget to make a picture because Look. we were in a rush guys uh, and also ask what you need to do after that there is more steps like you have to get your uh, marriage certificate attested in mofa again, again. yeah mm. so so they will get, um, they they will charge the same amount most probably uh, what yes, they have amount. yeah what they have charged for the legal capacity same and amount. go the same place it's near <laughs> go to the same place and get your uh, marriage certificate attested from uh-huh. uh, ministry of foreign affairs and uh, and if you want to like take your uh, take your partner to philippines so also you will require to get uh, attested your marriage certificate in the philippines embassy. Uh, embassy as well consulate so but for us we didn't do it because we, we don't have yeah, time we don't have time for <laughs> going to the philippines uh, but consulate. this was uh, enough for getting uh, for us this uh, it was enough but you people have time please uh, go and attest in the philippines mm-hmm. uh, embassy once you get the marriage certificate from indian consulate as well So hope you have enjoyed our video and yeah. hope it is informative for you yeah. and we wish uh, good luck for your yeah. marriage and we hope good luck guys yeah and everything will be fine rooting. yeah we are rooting for you guys everything will going to work everything will going to work if Just you really both want of us, yeah. if you really love each other yeah. please go for it if you know each other that you can be a good husband and wife in in the <laughs> and you can be together yeah. for a lifetime yeah. that's the main thing yeah so guys please go ahead and we are you, rooting for you you will get go, it go, 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 you will go. get it we will pray for you yeah best of luck yeah. and stay happy stay yeah. healthy <laughs> that's it so that's it for today's vlog guys i hope it's uh, you find this vlog helpful to you and if you haven't subscribed to our channel please do Again. like subscribe and share to Again. your friends yeah, yes so please please subscribe <laughs> from my side also just subscribe and share the video uh, to your friend who wants to get married to a yeah. filipino so they have they will be informed and they will get information from us okay so that's it for today guys have a good day and Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you again in the next video. Bye-bye.